I've, I've kind of had two choices. Um, do I do I hide it or do I embrace it? And yeah. I had to embrace it. And um, as you said, you you didn't. I don't know. Now you were on two weeks ago, and remember we were talking in the green room just before the, the show started. And I said, oh, I really like your hair. It's a bit shorter. And that's when you told me, yeah. and I was shocked. I didn't realise. It's a cracking wig. Thank you. And this... that one's good as well. I like that one. Yeah, the short one, the <laughs> yeah. short brown, because I think lots of people haven't known for a long time. Yes. But they've just thought I had thicker hair. That mm. I had really healthy hair yeah. and um, I decided to come out for come out about it as a wig wearer we've got to start digging the wig digging the wig is this the new dig okay the wig, dig the wig. I want I like everyone it. hashtag dig, dig the wig hashtag dig the wig <laughs> because I did the article I it was a, a big decision I'd kept it to myself for a long time mm. uh, my hair's been getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and thinner and basically what's happened is the the meds I'm on I've been on them for 11 years now the heart medication I yeah. take and it's uh, damaged the hair follicles. And, and unfortunately, you lose the hair follicles. Yes. So the picture that you're seeing there, that's, that was kind of the beginning of it. So it's, it's got worse. Uh, it's kind of all the way back there right. now and over the other side. And that my hair is actually growing sort of zigzags. The mm. um, hair follicles are damaged. Uh, it doesn't happen to everyone on heart meds, and I've been on them for a long time. Yeah. Um, but I think the news seems to be that it won't grow back. Mm. So, uh, How are you feeling about that? Um, <clears throat> I have been absolutely devastated about it, I have to be honest. Yeah. Um, my fr the support of my friends has been crucial, I and mean, you've been lovely. Maxine's been lovely. No, but it's it, it's it, but it's difficult. I mean, people say that, you know, people lose their hair when they're having cancer treatment. They always say that's one of the worst things is losing your hair. And all, what, any woman who loses her hair, it, it just really, it, I don't know why it should be so important, but it is because it it makes you. If you're having a good hair day, you have a good day. If you're having that's a true. rubbish hair day, you have a rubbish day all day. <laughs> all you're thinking about is your hair. Um, in a way, let's look on the bright side, yes, as you always this do. has done away with bad hair days because I can be whatever I want to be now. Yeah, you've got choices here. I have got choices. Do you have to spend a fortune on wigs, Sally? Um, no, you don't. Um, these ones, this one that I'm wearing here and this blonde one, who knew I could, could ever be blonde? Be blonde. Yes. I love being blonde. <laughs> Mr B quite likes it as well. Does he? I was wondering, what's his attitude? What, what does he think of it all? Do you know what? If you're upset, he's upset. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He what? I think I kept it quiet from him for a long time, which I know sounds crazy when you're going bald, but I was I had little short hair like this and I would yeah. cover the patches and um, so he didn't notice. And then one day, just a few weeks ago, I said, can you come to a wig shop with me? Because I was just nervous about going. And he was like, yes, OK, all right then. And then I think he realised for the first time, the children, my daughter hated everything I put on because it wasn't mummy. Right. Gotcha. Um, and she didn't really understand it or get it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, my husband just made everything all right for me um, just after the article came out. And he said, because he's thinning on top, but for a guy, it's different. It is. It is. And he said, I, I said, are you all right, you know, with this? And he said, look, I've still got this, meaning he's gorgeous, which obviously he is. <laughs> and he said, and you still got that. And no one can take that away. So as yes. long as the heart meds don't make my face fall off. Which they won't. Which they won't. <laughs> They'll hope, be fine. Fingers crossed, yeah, then yeah. I'll be fine. And honestly, it's a small price to pay. Because as we've said before, Sally, really, you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't you be sh here. It's amazing. It's only because you're such a healthy girl before you got ill. And I'm really well. Louise. I know, I you look so really well. well. You, you I can feel see so great. And everything else I manage, I can take control. All my meds have side effects. Right. So I have restless leg syndrome. I have aching joints. I have sleeplessness, all sorts of things, but I manage all that. Yeah. And um, I, I'd never talk about that because I manage it through diet, through exercise, through lifestyle. I'm in control of my heart. My heart's yeah. not in control of me. However, this I've not been in control of. Mm. So this is the only way I've been able to be in control of it. Mm. So from now on, I've decided, A, I couldn't lie. I couldn't be uh, in the kitchen over there and on TV and people tweeting and Facebooking saying, oh, I love your dress, I love your hair, without me saying, actually, actually yeah. it's not my hair. Right. Because there are so many other women that are going through it. Um, I'm going to go on a little journey and find out about treatments and about wigs. People don't even know how to buy wigs. No, that's true. Because you don't that's know. True. Do no. I go in on my own? Do I try things on? Do I make an appointment? Mm. All that. So I'm going to do all that sort of thing to find out more. And, and the response has been amazing. So I'll, I'll be the mouth of the wig. Good. That makes sense, <laughs> doesn't really. But you know what but I mean? We're digging the wig. We're anyway, digging we the are wig. doing that.